Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron and today we are going to discuss about the basic laptop or desktop that you can use for your machine learning practice at home. Of course I always encourage you to go ahead and use Google Colab or the Kaggle platform but then having a laptop or desktop is always better than to rely on some third party software. Okay. Uh, I do not make too much videos on hardware, right? Uh, I don't have much experience, but what I can share is the laptops and desktops that we use in our regular project, and that is good enough to get started. So let's look into a few basic things that will guide you in order to purchase your next laptop or desktop for the data science or machine learning projects. So the points that I would consider before buying a laptop or desktop is, you know, first of all, the budget right I don't have too much money to invest because I'm an individual and I do not have so much of spare money and I don't have the you know time to keep buying a laptop or desktop every now and then right I need a laptop which should you know good should be good enough for at least next two three years and should be good enough to run my projects with a decent performance okay the laptops that I'm going to suggest today is also enough to do deep learning. Of course, it will be a little slow, but uh, this is not recommended for, of course, building a startup, right? Because there you need a dedicated environment for that. And also the cost of the laptops should not burn a hole in my pocket that, you know, I would be more worried about the uh, cost rather than working on my machine learning models, right? So. What is the minimum configuration that you know should be good enough? Okay, and now computer manufacturers creates a lot of confusion around this specification, and at times it becomes really hard to figure out what should I buy, right? So here are a few simple things to consider. First, you should have a RAM with a minimum 8 GB or 16 GB. I recommend 16 GB because. Uh, it is in many cases you would need to create a virtual environment or install some software in your virtual environment and you need additional RAM for that. So that's why if possible go ahead and buy a 16 GB otherwise a 8 GB laptop is more than enough. Go for a 256 GB you know solid state drive. Now that is good for your high speed input output operation but as I told you you are not running a startup here or building a consulting project for somebody. So a one terabyte hard drive is also sufficient. Go for an NVIDIA graphic card with a minimum 1050 Ti or MX150, more than enough, okay? Just get a graphic card, make sure there is a graphic card there. And I'll be putting the links of three laptops that we have been using and that should fit your budget and the overall purpose for the performance. Okay, the first one is the Acer Nitro 5. One of my friend is using that and it has a Intel Core i5 8th generation and it has an NVIDIA MX150 have one terabyte of hard drive little bit slow as I told you uh, please go make, ensure that you have a larger screen uh, we use additional monitors to connect to our laptop so that we have a bigger screen for the codes but 15.6 inch is a standard one the price is about 59,000 Indian rupees the next laptop is Dell Inspiron 15 Gaming 5577. Again, uh, it has a i5 7th generation core. The NVIDIA graphic card is GTX 1050M. And again, one terabyte, no issues. Screen size 15.6. The price is roughly about 57,990 Indian rupees at the time of recording of this video. The third one that we recommend is the HP Pavilion Gaming. Again, it has an Intel Core i5 9th generation. Don't worry much about the 7th, 8th or 9th. There are hardly slight differences which you will not notice for your basic projects. Uh, NVIDIA graphic card is GTX 1050 and have a 1TB hard drive. Screen size, always I recommend a large, as large as possible but 15.6 I guess is the max. Otherwise get an additional monitor. And the price is about 59,990 Indian rupees. I think the, you can pick any of these three laptops. I will also post the links in the description. And that should be good enough to get started on this machine learning projects. So happy learning.